Hello. Oh, oh my God. How are you? Let me get some lighting. Ooh. You ready, boo? I guess so. I just got out the shower, but it's all good. I've been wanting to be on your show. How are you, Kendra? I'm good. What's your name, honey? Um, my name is Elizabeth, but everybody calls me Shorty. Everyone calls you Shorty. Elizabeth, where you calling us from, honey? Miami, Florida area. So they call you Shorty, so you must be short. So let me just Shorty add Dua. You. Shorty Dua is my DJ name. Oh, you're a DJ? Yes. Um, I do that part time. Or talking? What happened? Is it like the the spinning DJ or like me, like a radio host? Like, I'm going to show you my turntables. Okay. Like okay. Get it, girl. Get it, girl. And um, so, and in the daytime, my um career is I'm an auditor and in commercial insurance. An auditor and a commercial Never, insurance. Can I get some airings real quick? Go, go ahead. I mean, come on. Do you, boo. Go ahead. Hold on. Let me get my hoops in, girl. Let me get, girl, let me get right. I'm straight out the shower, but fuck it. Let me get these hoops in. I'm going to make it without my hoops. All right, Mama. Get the moves. Let's go. I got. I just got some moves like that. You know, they have my name. My hair ain't even dry. <coughs> it's looking flat and shit. But I'm really cute. You can look at the pictures. <laughs> okay. All right. So, Jordy Doop on Instagram. Okay. You want? What is your Instagram name? Tell me, honey. Shorty Doop. Shorty Doop. How tall are you? Five feet. Oh, you're five feet. Yes. Okay. You have any kids, Elizabeth? I have. Three. I have an adult child, 21, and then I have a 14 and a 13 year old, two teenagers, okay. and I'm 45. You're oh, you're 45. Oh, I thought you looked younger. Um, by the same man, all three? Nope. No. Oh, how many men? <laughs> yep. Two, 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 two. Okay. Yeah. I'm like, girl, one, two, two. three. Okay. Two, 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 two. Have you ever been married? Once. Okay. Once I'm married. Was it one of your children's dads? Yes, yes. yes, yes. Okay. We were together 10 years, and I've been single four and a half. Okay. We left. I gave him a kidney before I left. You did? No, I'm, a, I'm a kidney donor, so me and my, my, I don't like to call him baby daddy, kid's father. We have a great relationship. I ain't got no baby daddy drama. And yes, I was a match. I gave him a kidney, and, you know. Okay. <laughs> So, and, yet, and when did y'all break up after that? Well, four and a half years. It was pretty much done before that, but I would never speak foul on him. So I'm not going, I'm just, we have a great relationship now. We co-parent. He has a girlfriend. But um, yes, he was on dialysis and that took a long toll. I took care of that man and took care of the kids and it was a lot. And I waited. I was a man. So why didn't the relationship work out? It's a lot. A lot of other things. I don't want to like get. It. I don't like to talk bad about him, but it was, it was nothing bad. He wasn't whatever. But we we're doing so much better since we. I love when I meet people who who I feel are more Christian like than me. See, because I'm the kind of Christian that if I give you a kidney and you do me wrong, I'm gonna need my motherfucking kidney back. Like that's <laughs> no, no, no. He never did like, me wrong. Like you can leave the house, but leave the kidney. At the door, but he okay. Listen. If you want to go out with her, you <laughs> can go out with her, but leave my kidney. Listen, at the door. This is why I know I'm not that much. This is why I know that God has blessed me with Listen, different that things. Kidney is getting me to heaven. I'm gonna tell you right now because I I'm love you. Don't look like you. Number two, he was. Not, it was nothing bad. We just grew apart. And that's well, it. why are we growing apart? I did it for the kids, Kendra. So that the kids can, you know what it was like? He would come home from dialysis, and my little son would be like, Daddy, let's go outside. And he was tired. Now he's the coach of his football team. Like, I did it no, for the kids so they can have a you were, you a better woman than me. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. I salute. I Let love them you make people. You no, know, I'm a good woman. I'm a ride or die. Yeah. Like, I, I love me and people who really know the Lord. Like, I know the Lord, but. The Lord knows that sometimes some things, you know, we just got to sit down with. Because I'm definitely the type of person, whether we grew apart or not, I need my kidney back. Like, key, car keys. Okay, <laughs> How I you going to get your keys. kidney back? I see oh, the car Lord. keys. Where is the kidney? I checked the refrigerator. <laughs> no. The kidney not in the freezer. So have me run to your job to get my kidney. And, so and the kidney, to kidney came with scars. To get my scars kidney. in my stomach. I got scars in my stomach and everything from the kidney now. 
It's all good. good. It's taking me to heaven. It's taking you to heaven. I, all right, let's yes. keep going. You a good girl. You a good one. Okay, Elizabeth, what's your what's your zodiac sign? I'm a Pisces. A Pisces. So this is Elizabeth Miami. Um, she's a DJ. Also does auditing. Um, forty five three children is a Pisces. What kind of man are you looking for? Um, he has to understand that you know I have two jobs. You know I got. Monday through Friday, and I DJ. So I thought, uh, I know a lot of guys are insecure about the DJ part when I'm DJing in the club and I'm always around guy DJs. So he can't be insecure. You do not popping up to my gig because I'm working. Can't, you know. So I've met guys that are like, they, you know, they're just insecure. They, they just don't feel right me coming home at 3 a.m. and they don't understand that it's work. Um, I want me a fun man. I'm very wild. I'm out there. I drop it like it's hot when I want to. When I'm in the club, I'm literally with the ladies, with the ladies. So he got he to gotta love my bubbly attitude. He got to accept me for who I am. I'm just, you know, I just live my best life. You live your um, best life. Um, okay. But he, he can't be a bum. I don't want no bum. Meaning, like, come on, you got to have a car. You got to, mm-mm. You gotta have some. You gotta have something going for yourself. Some drive, you know. Some ambition. Um, you can't be a bum. You gotta have a car, a, a career, preferably not just a job, a career. Um, he has to be fun. What else? Gonna he gotta have good dick. Let's get it. To, let's not play. These men in their forties is is when it start happening. When y'all be having them dick problems. And it's okay if you have it, but I don't want to deal with it. So if you have a dick problem and you got to take a pill, Kendra, let me tell you what happened. <laughs> so there was this guy that turned me out when I was 19. Okay. One of my booze from 19. I bumped into him like three years ago. And I'm thinking it's, he's going to have that same D energy he had when I was 19. He talk about it. Well, I gotta take this pill and then we gotta wait 30 minutes. Bitch, if I want it right now, I am not waiting 30 minutes. So we can't have, if you have a uh if you have a dick problem, I don't just don't don't holler. It's gotta be ready when when I you know on demand. Like you blow, you touch it, and, you know, like that. I'm just I'm being honest. <laughs> Kendra, I am 45. These men in my age, this is when the dick problems start having. I, problem, I don't want it. I don't want it. I'm not her. I'm good. No dick problem, please. Please. Should I say penis? Would that would have been better? Oh, I got it. I got it. No erectile dysfunction. Please don't. Please. I'm going through that premenopause stage and I'm getting hot. When I want it, I want it. But anyways, no erectile dysfunction. You can't be a bum. You have to have a great sense of humor and, you know, be able to deal with all this energy. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Um, does he have to look a certain way? Um, no, I mean, no, but I was just thinking of hygiene. Like, you can't have poor hygiene. And okay, no poor hygiene. Does he have to make a certain amount of money? So, it all depends. It all depends. Like, if you're a man with no kids, you don't have to make as much as if you're a man paying child support. So, I don't have a mom. I just want, if, if I want to, I like to do the Sunday brunch. You know, don't, if I want to go out to brunch, let's go out to brunch. If I want to jump on a cruise, baby, let's go on a cruise. Let's go to the Bahamas. Let's go. You don't got to be rich, but you can't be broke. I don't know if that makes sense. Don't be scared to spend one hundred fifty dollars on brunch. Okay. That's it. Okay. Every now and then. Um, let's 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 do the um, <laughs> child. It's Elizabeth. Oh wait, I just got off the shower. Fuck it. Here's the candy. <laughs> I'm a little thick. I'm a little thick. Oh, oh, woo, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> The phone don't tell. I'm a little thick. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, okay. Elizabeth, uh, when was your last relationship? 
four and a half years ago. Okay, you don't have to, was it your child's father that you gave the kidney to? That's the last relationship. Okay. Um, you don't have to answer, but what's the last time you was Oh, girl, that was two weeks ago. Did he have, he, did he have deep problems? He's been so good. He, yo, if you put him on this show, he's the 666. <sighs> Lady! He brought, I brought in the new year with that motherfucker. But, anyways, he's the only dick I've had in the past year. It's just that. I mean, Why it could be more. It could be more, but I, I don't think he, he, he definitely don't like me like that. No, but why would you want to put him out there to the world? You would want other women to know about him. Because I don't let nobody know who it is. I ain't tagging him. Keep it a secret, girl. Keep no. it to yourself. Facts. Okay. Um. <laughs> why do you think you're single, Elizabeth? I don't forgot my damn question. I think I'm single because I'm wild. When I say wild, not like I'm out there. Whatever. Like I told you, I've been sleeping with the same guy for the same year. But like, I just came from New York for a DJ competition. I got this hotel room with the big window in Manhattan. And across the way, you can see all people in offices. I got up on the window and started twerking for them. I'm wild. I live my life. I live my best life. And guys are scared of that. You got to be able to deal with a bubbly personality. Okay. okay. You got to be able and outspoken and direct. Direct. Okay. But why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Because you don't have to take care of me financially. Like, I'm not going to be asking you for money and help me pay my bills. I live in Miami. I pay $2,200 rent by myself, okay? I got two jobs. So you don't have to worry about that part. I'm not going to ask you to pay my bills, whatever. I'm fun. I'm spontaneous. Um, you're going to be happy. And I'm ride or die. Like, once I have a man, I'm ride or die. I gave my ex a kidney. That's what I mean by like, I will do whatever for my man. Got you. To keep him happy. As long as he keeping me happy, he's going to be happy. Okay. What's the age range you would date, Elizabeth? You're 45. Girl, I had me some sugar babies, but we're not going to have relationships with them. Um, I would say, I would go as low. My son told me, he's 21, so let me go. He says, he told me that the the guy has to be at least 18 when he was born. So what? That's 39. Okay. 39. I don't want to disrespect my oldest. So 39 to 55. 39 to 55. As long as you don't have erectile dysfunction. As, as long as you're, 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 your shit working. Yep. That's very as long important. As it's important. Extremely important. <laughs> And I'm Mandatory. not talking about you popping a blue pill and we got to wait 30 minutes. We're not doing that shit over here. I'm done with that shit. Okay. Um, Elizabeth, if he's not in Miami, does he have to fly you to him? Nope. I got a passport. Oh, you got a passport? Yeah, he could be anywhere in the world as long as he's gone. You know what I'm saying? So, now with this good D, do you want to keep it to yourself or would it would you be willing to share with the community? What? No. What do you mean? What do you mean? If I get in a relationship, if I find a man? Well, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, ladies, sometimes good D doesn't like to settle down with one person. Oh, I know. I, I, I understand that. That's the situation. Uh, no, oh, you're talking about in the future. I mean, no, 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 no. He got to be faithful. I'm a faithful girl. Once I have a man and I'm yours and your mind, yeah, we got to be faithful. Now, let me ask but what we could go to the strip club though, because I slap me on some titties and booty. I love me some titties and booty. But just for fun, but we going home. We ain't taking nobody home. Oh, okay. Give me my hand. Let, Come on. Let me ask you this. Back to this scenario, and I, I think I know the answer. Let's say you let's say you found a facial, a facial. A my faces. <laughs> People are saying faith, my, my facial expression. A faithful man, mm -hmm. but his D wasn't that great. Nope. Nope. Had that been there. Are you? That, and, and my, every woman is different. And my, sex is very important. You got to be able to satisfy your woman. So D is very important. Very. All right. Say no more. Say no more. Yeah.
Literally, Elizabeth. This is Elizabeth in Miami. She does, she's a DJ. She's an auditor, um, commercial insurance, 45. You don't want any more kids, right? No, I, I tie my tools, baby. Okay, because the guy, I have kids? Yes. Oh, wait. We didn't ask what, what are my deal breaking. Well, we you ask. So we kind of were telling me them, but is there more to the bad D oh. and. Um, no small kids. Okay. High school and up, like mine. Okay. They could be high school and up. That's it. High school and up. And that's it. And you can't okay. I want kids because obviously I can't. I'm 45. I'm done. I'm ready. I'm ready, I'm ready to get these out to school. I'm ready to these to finish school. So I can be outside. I'm ready to be outside, outside. I want to go on tour. I'm trying to go to Europe. All that. You can't do that with kids and baby mamas and child support. No, you can't have none of that. And your kids are 21, 14, and 13. Yes. Okay. So no younger than 13. No younger than 13. That's the youngest. Yes, please. Were there any other deal breakers you wanted to share? Oh, cigarettes. I don't like cigarette smokers and drugs at that. Other than marijuana, but like you can't be like a coke head. Oh, and um, depending on the felony. Girl, I met this cutie at the club, Kendra. She gave him my number. Before, before I knew all this, this was when I first became single. This is a true story. I'm a DJ. I was at the club and I invited him. I exchanged number, cutie, cutie. And then I was dancing up on him. He was like, watch out, I just got out. What that mean, he just got out? So the next morning when I call him, I'm like, what you mean? I just got out, oh, I just got out of prison. So what you do? I just, oh, I accidentally killed somebody. Come drug. How do you accidentally kill somebody? Then I said, how do you accidentally, you need to explain. He's like, well, I don't want to tell you what I did because I want you to get to know you better. I said, well, I ain't going to get to know you better until you tell me what you did. So, Kendra, he cannot have no fucking crazy-ass felony. Okay? Understandable. Understandable. Elizabeth, what is your nationality? Dominican. Dominicana. Dominican. But I was born and raised in Providence, Rhode Island. I was born in the States, but yes, I am Dominican. I'm a little Dominican. feisty. Okay, okay. All right, listen, Elizabeth, you are very entertaining and I <laughs> Hope there's a man watching that can understand and handle you. This child. energy, right? Yes. So two things. Give them your Instagram and at, Facebook. At Shorty Duop. S-H-O-R-T-Y-D-O-O-W-O-P. And that's Instagram. And I'm Elizabeth Rodriguez on Facebook. Okay. But I respond to Instagram more. Okay. Say it slow so I can write it down. Spell it out. S-H. S-H. O-R. O-R. T-Y. T-Y. D -O -O, D O O W O P W O O P Shorty Duop. I baby girl. Let's go, baby. My future baby daddy in here. Oh wait, we having babies. I'm gonna tell you about Shorty got baby daddies. You want more? My future boo, I see you, puppy. I'm ready. Holla. <laughs> come to Miami, Kendra. When you come to Miami, let me know. I be DJing out here. I got you. Section in a bottle. Okay. We outside, baby. Woo, we, we outside. outside. Y'all okay. to the point, if I don't find this boo after this show, I'm going to be a fucking lesbian. Because I'm done. I'm done. All right, that's it. You have a nice day. <laughs> Bye, Elizabeth. Bye. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Um, I thought my school girl look hat was going to. Nope, nope. Y'all going to be who y'all going to be. Shout out to all the Kendra Cousins. I just adore y'all. I just adore y'all. I adore the outspoken Kendra Cousins like Elizabeth who will speak exactly um, what her requirements are. And um, let's continue. Okay, child. I don't know how we're going to follow Elizabeth. I'm going to tell you right now. I don't know how we're going to follow her, but let's just keep going with our regular schedule program. 